YouTube. What's good with you? I already know what's up with me. Hey, I had a lot of women. I heard a lot. I heard a woman call, having a conversation today, talking about you know they were talking to one of their homegirls and they was talking about you know I guess a, a homegirl was trying to hook up with you know what I'm saying hook up on a blind date or something. You know she was trying to hook up on a blind date or something. She was like, girl, I need somebody that can handle me. You got a smart mouth. Yep, and that's why you're by yourself. Ain't no different than these cats out here talking about, you know, I need a chick that's gonna hold me down, you know, my ride or die, you know. She could be my boonopolis, you know, when at the end of the day when I go to jail, you know, she could secure the bag while I'm gone, you know what I'm saying, keep it tight for me. Who wanna prepare for that? Take me as I am or don't take me at all. Alright. I ain't finna spend no money on no broad. If I take her out to eat, I better get a happy ending. See, that's why you by yourself. We all got standards, ladies and gentlemen, but growth is required. You can't go to the next level with the same mentality. You can't have a single mentality in a relationship. Responsibility is not attracted to immaturity. It's the difference between being grown and being childish. If you're looking for a relationship, you're looking for ownership, and ownership doesn't play. Trust and believe is somebody for everybody, but only a few people are willing to grow up to get what they want. Everybody don't tolerate nonsense, and before you get started, a lot of attitudes really need adjusting. A relationship is give and take, not just what you want. Respect each other. Once you gain the respect, here comes the love. Now you're loving on each other. So it's time to get battle tested to see if you really love each other. And I'm talking about you're going to get tested in everything that flew out your mouth. Everything that you spoke on. I do this. I do that. I love you. I care about you. I'm going to be there for you. You're going to get tested. Every storm that's going to hit you in your life, you're going to get tested on it. Do you really love that person? Now are you really ready to ride for that person? Are you ready to spend the rest of your life with that person? Are you ready to be in a relationship with that person? Because at the end of the day, to get in a relationship, what's the point if you ain't going to have no end all be all? If you're just having a relationship just to be having it for sex or something like that at the end of the day that's short lived and then what you don't want to grow old and alone so at the end of the day everybody talking about i need i want a relationship so bad i want somebody so bad but it's somebody for everybody but are you willing to step up and be mature to get what you want to go to that next level you gonna have to cut all that immaturity out you gonna have to go ahead and grow up and grow out and you got to go ahead and just let if you want god to bless you let god use you you got to look at it you ain't the only one that want a relationship. And the person that you probably met or the person that is the person out there, they're praying for a relationship too. God going to bless them too, just like he want to bless you. But you got to grow up. Because what if that person, he already grew up? What if she already grew up and you still immature? So therefore, he got to work on you and they waiting on you. At the end of the day, it's somebody for everybody. But a lot of people prolong because they soulmate is still immature. But time waits for no man because at the end of the day, God, he chose to use you. But at the end of the day, he can't replace you. You can't be asking for a blessing with wicked ways. At the end of the day, you want a better change in your life. You got to have a better mindset. That mindset going to change that attitude. And that attitude is going to change your life. <laughs>